If you're trying to figure out how to elevate a simple fruit salad, then I have the perfect solution for you. Let's get started! Here I'm going to show you the easy way to carve a watermelon bowl and fill it up with your favorite fruits and veggies. Carve a quarter of the melon to the side, then lay the watermelon on the flat side. Here I am using my handy cleaver from Dalstrong. If you want to see more of this knife, I will link it in the description box below. First, angle the knife and cut a small portion on top. Make sure to cut both sides like what I'm doing here. Then move half an inch down and cut again in an angle on both sides. You can use any type of knife, but I recommend using a knife as long as the watermelon so it's easier to carve. Be careful doing this and take your time. Cut halfway in an angle and do the same on the other side. So keep cutting until you've made 5 cuts on both sides. Push the watermelon out just like what I'm doing here to make sure that you cut through the watermelon. If you're new to my channel, please don't forget to like and subscribe to see more kitchen hacks, tips, and tricks. Now back to the video. After making sure you've cut through the fruit, slice the carved part in the middle like what I'm doing here. Then slide the watermelon outside on both sides to create the bowl. And since we are serving this as a fruit bowl, we need to secure both sides with toothpicks. After you've secured the layers of the watermelon cuts, um, add some cherry tomatoes or whatever round fruit you have on top of the toothpicks so it doesn't accidentally poke anybody when they're trying to get some fruits. Here I am using tomatoes because it's what I have in hand but you can use grapes, um, blueberries, cherries, strawberries, or even olives if you're serving it with veggies. Then lastly, fill up the watermelon bowl with whatever fruits you want. Here I have some frozen blueberries and strawberries that I have in hand. And then I garnish with mint leaves to make it extra pretty. After you finish the fruit, you can always eat the rest of this watermelon so you don't waste any of it. You can slice this watermelon up to eat on its own or add it to your watermelon salad. This carved watermelon fruit bowl makes an impressive centerpiece for any celebration. I hope you find that tutorial helpful and please don't forget to like and subscribe to see more kitchen hacks, tips, and tricks. See you next time!